Hi guys! So today I am doing this more kind of grungy look. This was not the original plan. I was doing a look with my Naked 3 palette and I was like, this is gonna be elegant and beautiful. And then I was like, I'm gonna do a dark lip. And then I'm wearing a choker, so I was like, oh. Now I look like I'm about to beat someone up. But let's be real, like I would try to beat someone up, I would like throw a punch and then I would miss and then I'd be like on the ground dead. It's cool. I just completely sort of winged this look. I just winged it get it if you're new to my channel hi my name is sarah um subscribe for more awkward puns about wings <laughs> be sure to like and if you're not subscribed then subscribe so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it i am going to start off by priming my face with my nyx pore filler and i use this all the time it's one of my favorites if you're subscribed to my channel which you should be the link or the button or whatever is somewhere down here. I love a primer that gets rid of my pores. And this is like a dupe for the Benefits Professional Primer. Next, I'm going in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Mine is in the shade One Creamy Vanilla. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Benefits Sunbeam. Is that what this one is? No, this isn't Sunbeam. This is Shy Beam. I'm going to put what's on my finger on my face. Today, I am going to be straying from my Beauty Blender best friend. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just sort of buffing this into my skin. I don't really like brushes, especially for my face makeup, because I find that it doesn't give as flawless of a finish as a beauty blender does. And in my opinion, it's worth me walking the extra 10 steps to the bathroom to get it wet and get a little bit more of a flawless coverage than it is to use a brush that's right there. I know, I'm a lazy person, so the fact that I do that is a pretty big deal for me. So when I apply my foundation, I like to make sure that I'm concentrating it in the areas where I need the most coverage. So for example, I need more coverage right here along my face because that's where I have the most acne scarring and hyperpigmentation and all that jazz. Everybody on YouTube has been ranting and raving about this recently. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is going to be the first time I have ever tried it. Mine is in the shade light medium. And wait, wait, before I even open this, can we, can we take a second? I love like rose gold and gold and purple. They're my two favorite colors. So it's like they said, let's make Sarah happy with packaging. But I'm just going to, holy crap, look at that wand. That's huge. I'm gonna use this under my eyes and then on any uh, blemishes and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I'm already in love with this. I just love the consistency. It's super thick. It smells okay. It doesn't have like any sort of strong, gross makeup-y smell. Just putting this on any current breakouts, aka most of my face. I am starting a new skincare routine. I just started it this week. So hopefully that goes well and I can share with you guys what it is and sort of talk to you guys about it. I'm just gonna blend all of this out with my beauty blender because this is what I would normally use. I love this already. I think this is hands down already my new favorite concealer. Well, normally by now my under eye has been creasing. There's no creasing there at all. First of all, it took me like five minutes to find this brush and my under eyes still aren't setting, like settling into my lines. And then I'm just going to be taking my, my NYX Set It Don't Fret It loose powder. I'm just gonna set anywhere I concealed. I know my hair looks like I just like did it in two minutes, but this actually took me like 15 minutes to do. It shows you my level of hair skills, which is the reason why I have a makeup channel and not a hair channel. I am going to be going in with another new product next, and this is one of the little versions of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, and this one is in the shade Opal, and I got this little kit from uh, Ulta yesterday, and it had this, and then it had the powder form, and I know that I'm not supposed to start with highlight, but this is like the only cream product I'm going to be using, and I'm going to blend this out with my beauty blender. I might use the little powder on top of this and see how blinding I can truly make it. I am going to be using my Hoola bronzer on this e.l.f. contouring brush, and I think this is made for cream products because it's super dense and super thick, so when I apply this... I am going to be taking this and putting some of it on the back of my hand first and then using it to contour because I feel like it's way too pigmented. See, even that, like, it's not as bright on in real life as it is on camera, but still, like, that's so pigmented and I wiped so much of it off on my hand, so I'm just, like, going like this. Now I got that mega Kim Kardashian 
look going on. Now I am going to be taking my Luxie 512 small contouring brush. I use this all the time. And I'm just going to use this to blend out my giant harsh line on my face. It's kind of muddy looking over here though, which not really okay with. I'm going back in with my Hula Bronzer a little bit onto my Real Techniques powder brush. Just sort of sketching it along parts of my face. Just sort of running this along the outside of my forehead because I have a big forehead and my hair is pulled back. So that's really not a good combination, honestly, guys. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Luxie 205 brush. I use this to blend out my uh, bronzer and I'm going to be taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector powder and just sort of plunking this on top of where I used the highlight earlier. And then a little bit down my nose, on the tip of my nose. Gotta get that nose highlight, guys. Look at that. Look how glowy this is. And I barely put any on. Now that I'm done with my face, I'm going to zoom you guys in to work on my eyes. You're going to be using my new favorite, the Naked 3 palette. I am going to start off by using the shade Limit. And it just is this one in the palette. And it's just sort of a very good transition color because... I don't want anything to be too crazy harsh as my transition shade. And once I've sort of gotten it onto the outer corner, I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner, just using like windshield wiper motions. I feel like I'm totally washed out right now. Sorry guys. But next I'm going to be going in with the shade Nooner and it's this one. It's just sort of limit, but a little bit darker. And I'm just going to be using that onto my outer V of my eye, just to sort of darken it up and then bringing it a little bit up into my crease but trying to keep it more concentrated on the outer area of my eye. The farther down your brush you hold it, the less harsh your lines are. So if you're holding your brush like this while you're blending, you're probably not going to be getting the best effect. It's going to be a little bit more chalky and a little bit less blendy because you're not you know, using a softer motion. So because the next shade I'm going to be going in with is a very shimmery shade, and these shades are so pigmented that they tend to fall out really easily. So I'm going to be just taking a washcloth in purple, aka my favorite color, and sticking this underneath my eye, just sort of like this, while I pack on the color so that I don't get any fallout onto my face. Next, I'm going to be using the brush that comes with the palette. So I'm going to be mixing the shade Burnout and the shade Dust, and I'm going to just mix the two of those together and sort of apply that all over my lid. They're a very pretty pinky tone without being too brown or too mauve-y. I really need to get some of those like shadow shields. I'm going to be going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm just going to take this in a thin line across my entire lid. So just sort of in a small line. So I have gone ahead and zoomed you guys out because I've been applying my mascara slightly differently and I wanted you guys to see how I did that. So I'm taking this little Sephora mirror that I got and the bottom is a little bit closer, you know, like closer up than the top one. And so I like to kind of put it like underneath my eye so you guys won't really be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll put it like underneath my eye and then sort of swipe up. And then that way I don't have as much of an issue with getting it on my eyelid. Ooh, I forgot to do inner corner highlight guys. How could I do that? So I'm going to be taking the brush from the palette and before I was using the flat shader end, but this time I'm going to be using the really little shader end and I'm going to be taking Strange, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to take that and put it along my inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead and get into brows now. I have been recently completely obsessed with the Essence Make Me Brow and it has just little fibers in it. It's a pretty much a cheaper version of the Benefits Gimme Brow. I'm just sort of going like this and sweeping this through my brow. I like it because it adds a little bit of something to my brows, especially after I've gone in with foundation and stuff. Sometimes I can get it foundation into my brows and I'd prefer if I could get it out and make my face look somewhat not light browed. For lips, I'm going to be using the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. I'm going to be taking this on some lip brush that I've had since I was probably like 10. This is probably from like Claire's. I don't know, it doesn't say on here. So that's how you know it's not so great quality when it just doesn't even say where it's from on the thing. But I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to use the lip brush sort of to outline my lips and then I'm going to go in with the little wand to apply it to my entire lip. So I'm just sort of picking the product up off of the wand and then using that to shape my lips. I really don't have a good like Cupid's bow 
so I always try to like fake it and then it always gets uneven so now that I've gone ahead and sort of lightly outlined and then sort of filled in my lips I am going to go ahead and go in with concealer on a little concealer brush and clean up around the edges before I go to fill them in. And I'm going to use the EcoTools concealer brush to pick up a little bit of the Tarte concealer off of the back of my hand and use that to sort of clean up my lines. I've had a lot of people ask me how I apply like liquid lipstick and stuff like that and I think it's, it's a lot about applying like a liner or using a small brush to sort of get around the edges before you apply it to your entire lips and then cleaning everything up because I can never get my lips to look perfect the first time. I always have to clean up and I have to sort of make the shape a little bit different, you know, that sort of thing. So I would not worry if your first time, you know, trying to apply it doesn't go well. I'm going to take it straight from the bullet and apply it just to sort of the middle of my lips to make sure it's nice and thick there. To finish things off 100%, I'm going to take my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. There we go. So after I had gone in and put on mascara, I realized that I kind of wanted to do a wing, so that's what we're gonna do. I am just going to put a line here, just like that. That was like the best wing I have ever done freehand. This one is gonna be the worst ever. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> I was right. This is where I make some joke about how I like my liner like my men. It's super fine. It keeps getting bigger, guys. Now I have to try to make the other one even. There we go. I'm so happy with how that turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I guess I'll just see you in my next video. Bye.